All right, peace, God. Peace. Allah be here. Once again at Allah School in Mecca in the God Month on a present understanding day where you can see clearly and understand everything that's presented without illusions or delusions because this is the knowledge equality year of the 2000 cycle or century 21st if you will and on this understanding day I'd like to born an understanding that could be clearly understood by those that come from the perspective of Allah's knowledge. Allah's knowledge is supreme, for He is the supreme being. And we know Him as Allah the Father. He wasn't no mystery God. He came and made everything born. He put the omnis of being responsible on the gods. We was boys when He came and taught us the knowledge of ourselves. But he taught us that we had to be men first. And the man that we had to be was the original Asiatic black man. That was encompassing all and all. Namely, uh, on this perspective of the planet Earth, when it was one land mass with no separation of seven continents, no separation of the borders or on the geographical locations and causing people to have different nationalities. No, we are not different. We don't call ourselves Africans because we're not African. African was a continent that was conquered and made a part of another continent, which was the whole of Asia. And Asia is that of the rising sun, the original Asiatic black man. That's our land. And we add it as we see it. So we see it to understand it perfectly clear to understand what Allah taught when he taught us that we were the supreme being and in this being the supreme being we dealt with the supreme mathematics and dealing with the supreme mathematics we dealt with a universal language that is right and exact whereupon it enabled us to do everything right and exact and not be a said person of that ability but to be the original man with the original thought and ideas of doing things as the first. And doing things as the first, I'd like to bring up uh, one of the contentions that many people that don't understand the knowledge of the first by Allah in the wilderness of North America is what he said when he said that we were not anti-white nor pro-black. To put it in this historical context, he said it at a time when we was being labeled incorrectly as being anti-white. And the reason why we was being labeled as such is because we taught strongly that the black man was God and the white man was the devil. And we taught at that level that it was on an infantile level, meaning that it was on a baby level, that we had just received that knowledge. And when we received that knowledge, we had to assert ourselves to the fullest extent. The black man is God, unequivocally. And we went there and we recognized that our vile enemy was the white man and we called him the devil. But as we grew and learned the sophistication of our original knowledge <coughs> that being the first we was responsible for everything that was upon the planet earth even the devil the original was the asiatic black brown and yellow and of that as we was learning and taught from the process that yaku had developed he grafted the false seed which was the caucasian but the caucasian was the youngest seed and being the younger seed, he was the baby on the planet Earth and not held responsible for himself because he didn't have that original knowledge, nor did he have the original blood or the original bone, or uh, as we say, weak boned and weak blooded, right? But that wasn't the detriment to say that this person couldn't learn how to be righteous at the, uh, the Caucasian as a mass, uh, as a whole, 
with a predatory nature destroyed a lot of the world and the planet. But still, Allah was still responsible as a civilized being to civilize all the human families of the planet Earth, the Caucasian included. So we couldn't exclude anyone when the knowledge came and the law taught us that we were civilized people and as civilized people we had to teach you who was savage civilization righteousness the knowledge of himself and the science of everything and like love peace and happiness something that was taught would be wholly and solely responsible as that civilized person and something that was taught would have to be put up under the sword as that mason was taught to be put up under the sword but he wasn't taught as we was with the same equality to be the supreme being he was taught to be the son my son if you will if mega did this